Hey Artland, how's it going? In today's video, I want to show you guys how to draw Venom's face. Now, to start off with this, we're going to begin with his eye, and his eye is a little bit crazy. So I'm going to start right here, and I'm just going to draw a little curved line like this. Next, I'm going to take this line, I'm going to kind of curve it in and out. And then I'm just going to take it, I'm going to kind of curve it down here like this. Next, let me get the cat out of the way. Next, I'm going to take this and I'm just going to kind of draw this line up. And then I'm just going to kind of curve it up really high. Then I'm going to take this, I'm just going to kind of curve it down. And then I'm going to draw this kind of up and then I'm just going to kind of bring it to a point up here. Now, starting here, what I want to do is I want to kind of get the shape of his face. So right here, I'm going to draw a line. It's just going to kind of curve out and then in. And then I'm just going to kind of draw this line out and then kind of in again. But then I'm just going to kind of take this line. I'm going to kind of curve it up and down. And then I'm going to kind of curve it into like this kind of creepy smile. Then I'm just going to kind of take this and I'm just going to kind of draw this down to here. And then I'm just going to kind of curve it down. Then I'm going to take this line, kind of curve it back so you can have like a little bit of a lip there. And then I'm just going to make a line that's just going to kind of curve out and it's going to kind of come up like this. Then I'm going to kind of curve out and then in and kind of out and in again. Next, I'm going to start up here and I'm just going to kind of draw lines, just going to kind of curve around here. And then it's just going to kind of come down like this. And then I'm just going to kind of curve it down and then bring it out like that. Next, over here for the neck, I'm just going to kind of draw lines, going to kind of curve up put a few more little curves in it and then kind of draw it down to here. And then right here, I'm just going to draw a little curve line like this. Now we want to add the teeth in there and he's got a lot of sharp teeth. So I'm going to start right here and I'm just going to kind of draw a line that goes down and up for one. And then I'm going to add a couple little smaller ones. Then I'm going to add a really big one right here. And then I'm just going to add some kind of smaller ones right in here. And the same thing down here, just kind of draw some sharp ones, put a big one, and then just kind of fill it in with some smaller ones. Now I want to put this crazy long tongue in here. So I'm just going to draw a line, so it's going to kind of curve up to that long tooth. It's going to kind of jump over it, and then it's just going to kind of curve up and wave and go all around. You guys kind of do it however you want to. And I want to keep it really thin out here, and then as it slowly gets back towards the mouth, then you want it to get bigger. Now, this is kind of like our basic shape, but we want to kind of push this a little bit farther and add some more details onto here. So one of the things I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of add a couple little lines right there. And then I'm just going to add a few little lines right around his lip and on the bottom too. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an extra little line right there 
And then at this curve, I'm gonna add another one going down. That way it kind of looks like the tongue is kind of moving and twisting. And I'll add one more right there. Then right here, I'm just gonna kind of add a little long broken line going down the tongue. And I'll put another one right up there. I'm gonna add a little curved line around the top of each of these teeth, just so it kind of looks like we can see his gums in there. And then I'm also gonna do this on the bottom as well. Just kind of add it. You don't have to do it on the real small ones. I'm gonna kind of add a couple little lines on each one. And if you don't wanna do each one, you don't have to. It just kind of adds a little extra detail. You can always put a second line or two on some of the bigger ones. Then I'm gonna add a little curve line right around here. And then I'm just gonna kinda of add some long kind of little lines just to kinda of show where the skin's kinda of twisting in there. A little extra line or two right here. Then I'm gonna add a couple little extra lines right along here. A little line right there by his eye. Then just a few kind of extra little lines right along his head. And I'm gonna add a few kind of by his neck up here at the top and bottom. Then I'm just gonna kind of add some kind of long little kind of curved lines along here. And then I'm just gonna kind of add a few little lines right by his eyes on the back and the front of him. And I'm gonna add a few here and then a couple right there. And then right up here, I'm gonna add just a few more. I like adding all these lines. It really works with someone like him who's got all these different details and lines going everywhere. Then I'll add kind of one more right there. And you guys can always go in and add more lines. It's totally up to you. I just kind of stuck with these. But there you go. There is your drawing of Venom's face. It's kind of like a little close-up. I know there's lots of different ways to do it. This is just kind of my version of it. But there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring. Thanks for watching, everybody.